Hey guys, welcome back. BDCKR here, and we're back with another multiplayer online team video. Hopefully this is going to be the last solo video that I'm doing as Abbott finishes his exams. Good luck, Abbott. Getting right into it, we mentioned in our recent series of Deadshot videos, of which this is the third, one of the big problems we run into with doing multiplayer teams is the time that it takes to make one. So it's not just the time to film the video and do commentary, but it's the time it takes to play around with the character, get comfortable with it so that we have a good team makeup and a good gear loadout to make a winning team. So instead of filming the final product like we used to do, these are videos that show us playing around with the team, the adjustments that we make as we figure out what works and what doesn't, and that fits in really nicely with our how to build a multiplayer team series of videos. So first, we started with Deadshot as a basic damage dealer, and he's really good at that. Then we played around with him as a special specialist. Now we're going to focus on a special specialist that does as much splash damage as possible. And I'll read a comment from Jared Worley that, that explains this idea. So if you gear Deadshot with a Totem, Master's Death Cart, and League of Assassins Knives, and team him with Lord Joker, I think you can do 100% splash damage on a special one. The math works out to 105%, but I don't know if you can exceed 100%. If you have Deadshot crit augmented, you should be able to knock out an entire team with four special ones in about 15 seconds. I haven't tried this yet, but it was the first thought I had after watching the video. Thanks for the comment, Jared. Uh, so Deadshot has a passive that allows for splash damage with gunshots, and he gets that on both his basic attacks and on his first two specials. League of Assassins Knives gives 50% splash damage on special one, and Deadshot special one gives lots of gunshots, and Batman Ninja Lord Joker gives splash damage of 20% on specials from his gunner teammates. So 35 seconds, not bad. Uh, not great, but you can see some of the issues with the special ones that we'll talk to. All right, so this team is going to be a little bit more difficult. Joker is going to be a bit of a pain because we do not want everybody tagging in with three bars of power. But you know what? Might do it anyways because the only danger is dead shot. Flashpoint Batman is only one promotion in level 24, so he's not doing a lot of damage. And we can just tag him in and... Let's see if he does enough splash damage. Because the good thing about Deadshot is that all of his uh, special one hits are taken. They don't transfer to another character. And he will take... The opponent will take all them. Oh, even better. Astro Harness. So we'll just kill a little bit of time. He's not doing a lot of damage. And we'll need to use a special one a bit to get past his invulnerabilities. Now, we don't actually want to get knocked out so the beauty of it is even though killing joke joker will give three bars of power if we'd actually had dead shot do that we wouldn't have had a problem because arkham knight back row would have saved dead shot and he would have been able to come back and finish off the opponent's dead shot okay so maybe let's talk about the loadout Deadshot is an easy one. Tantu Totem, Master's Death Cart, they are necessary. You want the two bars of power. One bar is not going to be enough. Uh, League of Assassin's Knives also has power gen, so that gives us a bit of protection against power dampening teams. Batman Ninja Lord Joker is interesting for that extra 20% splash damage, but it comes at, at a pretty big cost. Joker, he's not a great basic damage dealer, and he's not a great tank either. 48 seconds? Eh, not great. Um, he is an Arkham, so he loses out on the benefit of Arkham Knight Batgirl, the passive giving... Oh, so now we need to know if Arkham Knight Batgirl is going to really give us some trouble. Um, yeah, but you know what? Actually, we don't have to worry about her, because if she tags in on the stun, hopefully there will have been enough splash damage from Deadshot that when she tags in, she won't have much, if any, health left. And when Arkham Knight Batgirl, if she's necessary to save us, will take care of the Batgirl. Um, all right, so there's... Um, we don't get the benefit from Lord Joker, so he's... The 20% splash damage doesn't seem like a lot for everything that we're giving up. And there's also a second cost in using the Tantu Totem, uh, Master's Death Cart loadout. You actually need to pay attention. And 
what I mean by that is if you're only doing special twos on tag end, it's really easy. You just spam the location where the special two button should be and the opponent never blocks. At the point where you get enough power, the timing is just right that you're gonna get an unblocked special two. If you're doing a special one, you have to time it. If you do it too early, you don't get your full second bar of power. If you do it too late, the opponent blocks you. Uh, that's Deadshot. Arkham Knight Batgirl, she's the best support character on an Arkham team. I don't think that's really up for argument. She gives Deadshot a second life. She makes the whole Arkham team tankier. And she's got pretty big offensive potential because she's got a, a high chance of stunning when she tags in and makes her an ideal candidate for Cloak of Destiny, magnifying that damage because of the stun. But since we're taking away League of Assassin's Knives from her, Batgirl, we're going to replace it with her nano carbon mass to boost crit damage a bit more. So we lose out on the splash damage, but we're hoping that we don't need it as much because splash damage is really effective early on. You got three opponents, splash damage on each of the other opponents, it's huge. But if she's coming in late, then it doesn't really matter. If she's coming in that early, I think we've actually lost the game already. The greatest benefit in this case is her passive that gives Deadshot a second life basically when she saves him from getting knocked out. So she's going to be coming in late. Chances are we're going to have really not much of a, an opponent's team left. Hopefully it's just going to be at most one or two characters, not a full team. So the most important part of her passive really when Deadshot is a star is that she's going to keep him from getting knocked out the first time. So that leaves the Joker. And what do we do with them? It's dangerous to have a team without any basic damage dealer. But it's harder to make Joker good at damage, at basic damage, than it is to make him a good tank. And in general, you can make anyone a decent tank, but you can't make everyone a good basic damage dealer. So, tank it is. Instead of the classic tank loadout of Astro Harness for the invulnerabilities and two fourth world gears for a revive, we're gearing him to take up, to take as little basic damage as possible. He's going to be a time waster for whenever Deadshot runs out of power. And both of those tank loadouts work equally well. But since he's starting, since Lord Joker is starting first slot, it would be a bit of a waste to have Astro Harness uh, first invulnerability trigger when we may not want it. So, yeah, we can't have Deadshot in the first slot because we want the tag in power. We can't have Arkham Knight Batgirl in the first slot in case the other team punishes tag-ins right so if we've got gaslight batman if we've got arkham knight back uh so Ar arkham knight harley quinn we don't want to tag out the first person and that means we're not leaving arkham knight back row in the first slot to potentially take a bunch of damage so it means lord joker's first this loadout works for us uh focusing on deadshot special one instead of special two means that we're getting better value for splash damage not only is splash damage a higher percentage because you can't get anything like the League of Assassin's Knives with any special two splash damage, but there are fewer hits that whiff. We saw with Deadshot special two that if he finishes the opponent too early, there's a bunch of hits that won't transfer to the next one and the first kick doesn't count as uh, gunshot splash damage. And so we've got a couple more fights. I think what we're seeing is that this is a pretty effective team the way most splash damage teams are effective. What we're losing out on compared to other uh, special one League of Assassin's Knives specialists is that it's not a Cloak of Destiny loadout. And it's really only with Cloak of Destiny that you can get the massive special one damage that will really wipe out other teams. We're making up for a bit by having a higher percent, but it's not quite enough. And especially since Deadshot's special one, even though it's multi-hit, doesn't transfer across a revive or... I guess, I don't know if you count the Astro Harnesses as a revive too, but basically it, it won't hit more than one person. And even with one person, if it's a revive, you lose the ability to knock them out and, and that's 
maybe a slight advantage too because then that means you're getting full value for all the splash damage because all the hits oh nine seconds not bad so you're not far off jared that this can be a really fast team i'm not sure that there's a lot to make this that much better than the other special specialists but this is fun i mean we're definitely vulnerable because the only offensive star on this team is really dead shot arknight back girl you can make the argument that she's gonna potentially be pretty good with her special one but she doesn't generate enough power and once arkham origins dead shot is knocked out i think this team is kind of dead in the water the main dangers i think of the main vulnerabilities of this team would be a team that can eat specials or a team that doesn't do or doesn't take any crit damage like the red sun green lantern team so we'll tag him in anyways hopefully even if he dot evades the special even if dom justice batman evades a special we'll get him eventually like now oh unless he blocks and he's in anyways i mean what we really want to do is use the splash damage from deadshot on a teammate and really soften up Dawn of Justice Batman before he tags in. And we'll do that right here. Oh, nice. All right. Perfect. So by the time our, uh, Dawn of Justice Batman tags in, he should really have no health. Oh, perfect. Okay. So he definitely has no health. And Viola. There's our ultimate battle. And I think the final verdict really is that Arkham Origins Deadshot is a really good character. You can have a bit of fun with him by maxing out his splash damage. But if you load them out as a classic special specialist, pretty effective team. So thank you so much for watching. And a big thank you to our patrons who continue to support us. We'll see you next time. Komoda.